<laughs> well, let's come forward to when you uh, when you came back uh, to Young and the Restless. At, it was a surprise to the cast from what uh, Tessa McKenzie, the producer of uh, Let's Talk About Soaps, was telling me. How did that come about? Well, uh, were you excited? You're coming back as a gay character. How did that? How did that feel for you uh, uh, professionally to, to do that? Set it up for us. Describe it. The soap fans want to know all the details on how it was done. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, 20 years goes like that. I couldn't believe that I was off in 20 years. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. And then I was in talks with the producer and uh, a couple of the producers about coming back. And the only reason I would have come back is if I could play gay, because, you know, I did it. You know, I did Philip Chancellor years ago. I'm a guy that gets kind of bored. I've been bored with so many of my boyfriends and I move on. I've been bored with so many of my jobs. You know, I'm not necessarily proud of that, but that's kind of who I am. So in order for me to go back all these years later, I really had to be excited about what I could do when I felt, wow, you know, Young and the Restless hasn't really tackled the gay storyline, and it would be so cool for me to be able to present a real likable gay guy mm -hmm. to so many countries, because Young and the Restless has seen so many places. Oh, so, you know, I was really excited, really excited to go back and do that. Um, now, Tom, what similarities do you see, if any, in with your character, Philip, and yourself? We look alike. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> That's about it. I mean, I never, I never dress up. I'm really not a fancy guy. You know, I don't have the chancellor of money. And uh, I don't know. You know, I'm so independent. In fact, somebody was asking me a couple days ago, if I liked, if I was fine with the, with the storyline when Young Arrestes brought me back, and I said what really bothered me about it was that if somebody's going to fake their death, mm -hmm. there's got to be a reason. So Philip must have heard there was homophobia there in yeah. order to think, well, I've got to fake my death. I've got to lie to the people I love. So that kind of bothered me that they just kind of brushed over that, and they didn't, they didn't go into that. Okay. So... You know, but then again, I'm just trying to answer your question because I guess I would feel a little different than Philip anyway. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm trying to understand. So you didn't understand the storyline that they wrote about faking you faking your death? Like it wasn't clear? All they did was that they just said, hey, you know, here's Philip. He faked his death and everybody's fine with him being gay. And they didn't go into the, they didn't go uh. into the idea that there was homophobia or there is homophobia. True, and true. I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool? Yeah, because I think they, they wanted to just brush down. over that well, so that they didn't upset people. And I was thinking, geez, it would have been cool if they would have made somebody very homophobic, like Victor Newman or somebody, you know, because likable people can be homophobic. True, but true. it would have just been interesting to play that out more than just saying, oh, okay, we're fine. We love you. Because right. that's pretty much all it was, and it right. wasn't as real as I would have liked it to have been. Right. Well, well uh, what should happen is that they should maybe bring you back and play it out. They could, yeah, they could do that, right. Where the, there would be characters why. that would have those feelings or have those... Uh, viewpoints right, and have late. you interact with them. Right, it's not too late. So that's, uh, I'm sure the soap fans want to see you come right. back. Yeah. Which uh, uh, brings me to the question, what what were the fans' reactions when you came back? How did how did that play out for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody was surprised. Of course. Everybody was, was totally surprised. Uh, and they I knew about it months in advance, maybe five months in advance, and they told me, Tom, we're going to keep this a secret for May sweeps, so don't tell anybody. And it was so hard for me not to tell people because I thought, oh, my God, this is going to be so cool. <laughs> so they kept it a secret. They kept it a very good secret. And the fans were shocked. You know, if somebody is dead for 20 years, you know? Wow. 